With its discovery in 1960, adeno-associated virus has become a revolutionary viral vector in gene delivery. Its low pathogenicity and nearly negligible immune response in mammalian organisms are the attributes that have made AAV the ideal delivery tool for gene therapy. Over the years, many modifications have been made to both the production protocol and the virion itself to improve its production efficiency and increase its potential applications. For additional background on the discovery, biology, and features of AAV, please take a look at our adeno-associated virus and introduction video. The techniques and methods required to produce recombinant AAV will be outlined in this section, as well as all possible modifications that can be performed on the recombinant AAV. The development of the recombinant AAV viral vector was first described in 1984 using a human packaging cell line and a two-plasma transfection system. It involved a vector plasmid containing the transgene enclosed by inverted terminal repeats, or ITRs, and a complementary plasmid having the necessary rep and cap genes of AAV. Since AAV requires the presence of a helper virus to replicate, the packaging cell line is also infected with adenovirus at the time of plasma transfection. Once recombinant AAV is made, the contaminating adenovirus is usually destroyed by heat inactivation. In these early attempts, the AAV preparations resulted in mixtures that were contaminated with wild-type inactivated adenovirus particles, thus hindering their potential use. In the modern system, generation of recombinant AAV vectors requires four key components a cassette containing the transgene enclosed by two inverted terminal repeats. The plasmids containing the AAV rep and cap genes required for capsid formation and replication. The necessary adenovirus helper genes provided in plasmid format and a viral packaging cell line. The AAV genome is only 4.7 kilobases in length and therefore restricts the size of the possible transgene that could be inserted into the recombinant AAV cassette. The size restrictions of the AAV transgene have been demonstrated in experimental settings and any transgene that exceeds 4.7 kilobases in length fails to effectively transduce or express its transgene in the long term. The transgene in the cassette also needs to be flanked by two ITRs, which are necessary for the packaging of the recombinant AAV into the capsid. The original AAV genes, rep and cap, are provided on separate plasmids in trans. Without the presence of the ITR regions on this plasmid, the rep and cap genes will not be packaged into the viral capsid during production and will remain with the parent cell for the duration of the production. The required adenovirus helper genes used in recombinant AAV production are provided on yet another separate plasmid. The identified helper genes from adenovirus are E1A, E1B55K, E4ORF6, E2A, and VARNA. The E4ORF6, E2A, and VARNA genes are provided on a separate plasmid that is transfected with other recombinant AAV components, while the E1A and E1B55K are generally expressed by the packaging cell line itself. The most commonly used cell line in recombinant AAV generation is the HEC293 cells, which express the adenovirus helper genes E1A and E1B55K. Introducing the other adenoviral helper genes in plasma form into the HEC293 cells ensures that expression of the transgene harboring recombinant AAV stays constant throughout the process. AAV packaging cell lines are available for this purpose and can be used to streamline this process and reduce the number of reagents that are potentially needed to generate packaged recombinant AAV. A detailed packaging protocol showing a step-by-step -step method for the production of AAV is outlined in our knowledge base in the link provided below. Briefly, HEC293 packaging cell line is prepared the day before transfection with 70% confluency on the day of transfection. Follow the manufacturer's protocol to perform a 3-plasmid co-transfection. 48 hours post-transfection, collect the cells using a cell scraper and subject the cell pellet to a 3-freeze-thaw cycles. The freeze-thaw cycles should be performed using dry ice or ethanol baths and a 37 degrees water bath. After the freeze-thaw cycles, the recombinant AAV is released into the supernatant and can be used immediately for transduction experiments or be subjected to further purification using iodidaxonol gradient. As was mentioned previously, other changes have been performed by scientists to recombinant AAV vectors to make them more effective, such as capsid modification to change its tropism towards certain tissue types. These modifications include transcapsidation, the process of packaging the ITR of one serotype of AAV into the capsid of another serotype. Adsorption of receptor ligands. 
the addition of foreign peptides to the surface of the recombinant AAV capsid. Mosaic capsid, a modification involving the packaging of the AAV genome or recombinant AAV transgene into an AAV capsid made up of a mixture of unmodified capsid proteins from two separate serotypes and chimeric capsids, which are packaged capsids that have had a foreign protein sequence inserted into the open reading frame of the capsid gene. ABM offers a library of customizable AAV constructs containing most human, mouse, and rat genes. To access our AAV products, go to www.abmgood.com and from there, click on the AAV link. This link will take you to our AAV product page which has a description of our AAV products, as well as a detailed table outlining the tropism of different subtypes of AAV. Towards the bottom of this page, you will find the available promoter choices. Select an appropriate promoter and search for your gene of interest by name or accession number. Alternatively, you can browse through the gene list provided at the bottom of the page. At the top of the search result, different promoters can be chosen. Depending on the size of the gene of interest, the promoter choices may be limited. The table below details all available constructs of the gene and shows the available serotypes as well as the species the gene originates from. Having difficulty finding your gene of interest? Try our AAV custom service option. From our homepage, click on custom services and from there to custom adeno associated virus service. From this page, you can select the method of providing your gene of interest, the titer of AAV you would like to receive, and the serotype of the AAV virion. This will tailor the list of available services to your specific needs. Please leave your questions and comments below and we will answer them as soon as possible. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.